Hello again and welcome back to another busy instalment of the ABC of EVs. Introducing you to the sometimes confusing world of electric vehicles. Well, today we are looking at battery swapping. But hold on a second. When I say battery swapping, what do you think of? It may not be the same as the next person, so stay tuned for the details. Welcome to the show. My name is Martin Lee. If you like what we do here, are you a subscriber? Hit that subscribe icon and the bell icon so you never miss a show. And we are now on Instagram. Follow us for the best EV content. We are at best underscore electric vehicle. Here we go. So we're going to break down today's video into two but very different types of battery swapping. All right, first up, what happens when your EV has maybe a couple of hundred thousand miles on the clock? Maybe you have a very old Nissan Leaf, like the original 24 kilowatt hour, eight year old legendary car that is still going strong, but maybe the battery health is not what it was. Let's face it, technology has moved on. Thermal management these days on new EVs are way better than those original Leafs. And some of the really early ones could suffer a little bit in extreme climates. The rest of the car, well, that may be in great condition, but maybe you're thinking, you know what, I fancy a new battery, but no reason to get rid of it. We'll get onto that in a moment. The second situation is quite different. What if your battery health is absolutely fine? You're just low on electrons. Well, some manufacturers around the world have taken a different approach to driving with a fully charged battery, and that is swapping out an empty one and putting in a full one. You just turn up and in around five minutes, you're on your way with a fully charged battery. So there you have it, two different types of what we call battery swapping. We're gonna look at both in a little more detail. We've made a couple of videos already about batteries and how they degrade over time. So check those out. You might be interested in having a look. And because we made those, let's not go over the same ground in terms of how much longer EV batteries last than the typical naysayers like to pretend. But taking the example of an original Nissan Leaf about 10 years old, maybe, maybe it's lost a third of its battery health and maybe you only get 50 miles or so. Well, what you can do is bring it to an ever expanding list of companies that are doing battery swaps on cars that would otherwise be going to the junkyard, especially if they were combustion cars. But if the rest of the metal on the vehicle is fine, it's just the battery, well, take in your old car, hoist it up, spend a few hours working on it to swap out the battery, and hey presto. Okay, not quite as easy as just throwing in any old battery, but uh, you see each battery has a sophisticated BMS. That stands for Battery Management System. What the company will have to do is provide an interface that allows the new battery packs BMS to communicate with the old car. Another thing to mention is that thanks to amazing developments in battery technology, the physical size of newer battery packs, the actual dimensions remains the same, sometimes even smaller despite being able to store a lot more energy. For example, the newer 40 kilowatt hour battery fits easily into the same dimensions as the old 24 kilowatt hour leaf battery. But we don't have to dwell on swapping old leaf batteries as we've another type of battery swapping to talk about. Let's go to the idea of adding some power to your vehicle in very quick time. Let's talk about swapping as a service. Swapping as a service or battery as a service, as it's sometimes called, is when you might have a perfectly healthy battery because, let's face it, it was only put in your car a few days ago, but it just happens to have been empty. Well, you want to charge it up. You could either plug it in or you could swap it for a fully charged one. Now, many people will tell you that it's a silly idea just because Tesla tried it once and nobody took them up on the offer. The Model S was designed to have the battery pack swapped. In fact, very famously on stage, Elon Musk demonstrated the idea in practice of the Model S having its battery swapped. They even built a battery swapping station and nobody used it. Well, some people did, but not enough to carry on going. So. The future Teslas, like the new Model Ys coming out of Germany and Berlin, will have what they call a structural battery pack. You physically can't take out the battery pack, unlike early Teslas. But just because that experiment failed doesn't mean in other parts of the world it hasn't been embraced. 
What about in China? There are some companies doing it and making a huge success of it. Now, we're going to use the example of NIO in China. They're going all in on battery swapping. And here's a number that might surprise you. As of two weeks before I'm talking to you, NIO customers had just completed more than 4 million battery swaps. So this is no flash in the pan, and they plan to vastly increase the amount of stations, bringing the total up to about 4,000 globally by the year 2025. So what's involved? Well, the NEO power swap station onto its second generation now is linked to your phone app. You tell the station you want to do a swap, your car is driven into the station. Once there, the laser-guided process starts. The machine unscrews your battery pack in one go, drops it onto a tray that gets taken in to be recharged. Another battery comes out and gets lifted up into your car and screwed in. Hey presto, you're done and you're on your way. But that's only one way to battery swap. Some electric scooters are being made with modular batteries. You lift up the seat, pull out one or more of the batteries, sling them over your shoulder or in your bag, carry them into the office. And while you are working all day, they're plugged in, hopefully to the boss's electricity, and you've swapped your battery. Maybe a fully charged one lives under your desk at work or something, and you just pick that up and get back on your scooter. And actually battery swapping has many advantages for batteries themselves because you can normally, if you have an EV, think about DC fast charging. That's where you put a lot of energy into the battery very, very quickly. Now, if you don't get your thermal management under control, that can harm the battery. But with a battery swap station, you can take out an empty battery from a car that has no energy in it or very little, and then you can slow charge it over a period of hours. That's better for the battery health. It's better for the grid electricity, often better for those charging it because you can do it overnight, often with preferential electricity rates. Plus it's great for the drivers because, you know, the battery coming into your car has been fully checked. Any maybe faulty cells or even just those that are starting to show signs of degradation can be taken out of service, go back to the factory and fully refurbished. So the pack coming into your car is, you know, going to be great quality. And the final benefit for drivers is that often you buy the car, but you don't actually buy the battery. So you subscribe to the battery swapping service that reduces the initial purchase price of the car. The most expensive bit of an EV is the battery and you haven't got to pay for that bit. You do a monthly fee or a lease, if you like. So many advantages. Now, lots of people who have access to charging infrastructure still can't see the point of battery swapping, but in China, it works incredibly well, because certainly if you live in a multi-occupancy dwelling, or you haven't got access because you live in a built-up area, or you just can't access charging, then battery swapping makes so much sense. And of course, it's very quick, but, it hasn't taken off anywhere else in the world yet, and we wonder why that is. So there you have it, folks. Battery swapping in a nutshell. So much to cover. Let us know in the comments below if there are any parts you find really interesting that we can expand on in a new video. What's your opinion on swapping old batteries in old EVs? Are the car makers doing enough to give us the rights to repair? Should they be making it a lot easier to install new packs in old cars? And hey, if you are on Instagram, come and say hello. Now we have an Instagram channel. Tag us in your EV picture. We'd love to see it. We are at best underscore electric vehicle. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this show, hit the thumbs up icon. It tells us to make more like it. And we'll see you on the next one.